to measure job size, we use some instruments so that instruments we are going to learn here. So you're going to have a great use of these instruments during operating. So we're going to see two measuring instruments. First is vernier caliper and second is micrometer. You may have seen vernier caliper in your company. So what is the use of vernier caliper? So it's used for measuring height, diameter, and depth. So you can measure all three with the help of vernier caliper. So let's see parts of vernier caliper. First part is main scale in which you can see scale on both sides. Upper side scale is in inches and downside scale is in mm. Then we have vernier scale. In vernier scale, also we have scale on upper side as well as in lower side. So as you can see here, 50th line of vernier scale is matching with 49th line of main scale. So from this, you get least count of vernier caliper, which is 0.02 mn. So many times in interview, they ask, what is the least count of vernier caliper? Least count is nothing but minimum size that can be measured by instrument. So what is the minimum size that vernier caliper can measure? So vernier caliper can measure minimum 0.02 mm. So 0.02 mm is the least count of vernier caliper. And if you go for interview in large scale company at that time, they can ask you the formula to calculate least count of vernier scale. So you can get this formula very easily if you Google it. So try to remember that formula as that formula may ask in your interview, but mostly in interview they ask what is the least count of vernier caliper. So you have to say least count of vernier caliper is 0.02 mm. After that we have locking screw. So it is used to lock the measurement. If you measure any size or job and that reading you want to show to other person, at that time, you have to lock the reading with the help of locking screw uh, so that your reading will not be disturbed. So do measurement and lock the reading with the help of locking screw. After this, we have fine adjustment screw. This is fine adjustment screw to do fine adjustments so that you, you can get very accurate size. In that case, we use fine adjustment screw. As you can see, least count of vernier caliper is 0.02. Emin. So that mostly it is not used for accuracy measurement and that's why we rarely use this fine adjustment screw. After this we have depth measurement blade which is used for depth measurement. After this we have fixed jaws and sliding jaws. That means this jaw is fixed and this slides and due to this we get measurement. So these two jaws are used for outer diameter measurement. So all the outer measurements are done with these jaws and these two jaws are used for internal measurement. And with the help of these jaws, we do ID to measurement. So as I told you, lower scale of main scale is in mm and upper scale is in inches. So these are all the parts of vernier caliper. Now let's see how to calculate measurement with the help of vernier caliper. So for that, we have one formula, diameter to be measure. That means dimension we want is equal to, to main scale reading, reading of main scale plus in bracket vernier scale reading into least count, as this is in bracket. That means we have to do this calculation first. So reading of VS into least count, what is least count of vernier caliper? It is 0.02 mn. So this is the formula with the help of which we calculate measurement or reading. So see, as soon as I hold a job in jaws, our moving jaw moved, and due to which we are getting measurement. Now let's see this in detail. This is main scale, and this is vernier scale. And as soon as I hold a job, see our jaw moved. Now, as you can see, this zero. So reading of main scale behind this zero is our main scale reading. So as we draw a straight line above zero, so readings behind that line is our main scale reading and vernier scale reading. That means these lines. Now you have to see which vernier scale line exactly matches with main scale lines. So here, 40 no line of vernier scale matches with line of main scale. So as we know our main scale reading, if you measure lines of main scale behind zero, then you will get 13 lines. So our main scale reading is 13 plus vernier scale reading. That means this 40. 
and least count, which is 0 0.02. So it'll put all these values in our formula. So our main scale reading is 13, plus Vernier scale reading is 40, and least count is 0 0.02. Now we have to do all these calculations, and whatever value we get, that value is our measurement of that job. So we get 13.8 DML mirror. So this is size of that work piece. So remember this formula and practice it so that you can easily measure any work piece with, with the help of Vernier Caliper. So our next measuring instrument is micrometer. So micrometer is used to measure outer diameter of the job or work piece. Now let's see its parts. So this is frame and on which we have anvil on both the sides. Second anvil is on spindle and these anvils are so hard. That means these ends are hardened ends and due to which it does not wear. As these two ends are always in contact with the material during measurement. So to avoid wear due to continuous contact, these ends are made so hard and strong. And after that we have sleeve. This is sleeve, and on that sleeve we have scale for measurement. For measurement, we have scale on sleeve, and scale is also there on this round part. So that's how these scales are on sleeves as well as on round part. So as you can see, these are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and these are of 0.5. That means 0, then 0 0.5, then 1 means after 0.5, we have 1, and so on means after 1, 1 1.5, then 2, 2 2.5, 3. That means below lines are of 0 0.5 and above lines are of 1. M, and this is knurling at the end of a micrometer. Knurling is done so that we can hold the micrometer properly. And after this knurling, we have ratchet nut to check job precisely. That means if your job is touched with the anvil, then we have to use this ratchet nut to get accurate measurement. So let's zoom it to see this measurement. As we know, these are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are upper scale, like say. And in lower, we have 0. 0.5. That means 0, 0, 0.5. And after that, 1. And these are round scale, written up to 50. And as I told you, lower scale reading are of 0. 0.5 mm, and above scale are of 1 mm. So this all are the information about micrometer. Now let's measure one workpiece. So this is workpiece. So let's zoom its reading. So this is measurement, decades. Now you have to see upper scale. How much reading is visible on upper scale? So this five and six, that means after five we have one line. So it's six. Uh, so this total is six mm. And is lower scale is visible? That means after six, is there any lower scale line? So yes, we have lower scale line as well. And as we know, its value is 0.5 mm. So total measurement of our micrometer will be these 6 plus 0.5. So total 6.5. Now we have to see this round scale. So which line of round scale matching with horizontal line? So it's 30 number line on round scale. Now let's put all these values in formula. So our formula is main scale reading plus thimble scale reading into least count. So main scale reading, as we have calculated, 6 plus 0 0.5, so it's 6.5. And thimble scale reading means this round scale reading, which is 30. And least count of micrometer is 0 0.01 mm. So after calculation, we get measurement as 6.8 millimeters. And so size of that workpiece is 6.8 millimeters. So that's how you can calculate size of any workpiece. With the help of micrometer, you will able to calculate all these measurements only when you practice. So here we have seen two measuring instruments, vernier caliper and micrometer. So here we have completed our measuring instrument topic. Mm -hmm.